I never thought I'd find myself delving into the depths of the dark web. But curiosity got the better of me. Soon, I found myself navigating the shadowy corners of the internet in search of something, anything, that would satisfy my craving for the disturbed. It started innocently enough. A friend had mentioned a website rumored to hold some of the most disturbing content imaginable. I couldn't resist the temptation to see for myself. Armed with courage and a false sense of bravado, I ventured into the digital abyss, eager to explore the forbidden fruits that lay within. What I found was worse than anything I could have ever imagined. The website was a cesspool of depravity, a digital graveyard where the darkest impulses of humanity were laid bare for all to see. Images of violence and torture flickered across the screen, each more horrifying than the last. But it was the live streams that truly chilled me to the bone. In one stream, a masked figure stood over a bound and gagged victim, brandishing a knife with a manic gleam in their eye. In another, a group of assailants roamed the streets, their faces twisted with sadistic glee as they hunted down their prey. I should have turned back then, closed the browser, and scrubbed my computer clean of the filth I had stumbled upon. But morbid curiosity held me captive, drawing me deeper into the darkness with each passing moment. And then, just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, I stumbled upon a stream that froze me in my tracks, a stream featuring me. My heart pounded in my chest as I watched in horror, unable to tear my eyes away from the screen. There I was, sitting at my computer, completely unaware that an unseen audience of voyeurs was watching me. Panic surged through me as I realized the gravity of the situation. Someone had been monitoring my every move, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. And now, they had me in their sights. With trembling hands, I fumbled for the power button, desperate to shut off my computer and escape the nightmare that had become my reality. But before I could make a move, a message appeared on my screen, a message that sent a chill down my spine. We know where you live. The words hung in the air like a death sentence, a stark reminder of the danger that lurked in the shadows of the dark web. I knew that I was trapped, prisoner in my own home, with no hope of escape as I sat there, paralyzed with fear. Paralyzed with fear, I couldn't help but wonder what horrors awaited me in the depths of the dark web. Would I ever live to see the light of day again? Until this day, I continuously receive messages, some random, some revealing they still know where I live and some detailing my daily whereabouts. Hopefully, it doesn't escalate to the point where they want to become physical with me. I've always been drawn to the darkest side of the internet, the hidden corners where secrets lurk and forbidden knowledge beckons. So, when I stumbled upon a forum dedicated to the occult on the dark web, I couldn't resist the temptation to explore. The forum was like nothing I had ever seen before. A digital haven for those who sought to delve into the mysteries of the unknown. There were discussions on everything from ancient rituals to modern day witchcraft. Each thread more intriguing than the last. But it was one particular post that caught my eye. A post titled The Summoning. Intrigued clicked on the thread and began to read. The post detailed a ritual, purported to summon a demon from the depths of the underworld. A ritual that promised to grant the summoner untold power and wealth in exchange for their soul. 
At first, I scoffed at the idea. The notion of summoning a demon seemed absurd. Nothing more than the ramblings of a delusional mind. As I continued to read, a seed of doubt began to take root in the back of my mind. What if it was real? What if there was a way to harness the power of the supernatural for my own gain? Driven by a mix of curiosity and desperation, I set out to learn more about the ritual. I scoured the forum for information, piecing together fragments of knowledge from various sources until I had a rough understanding of the process. And then, one fateful night, I decided to put my newfound knowledge to the test. I gathered the necessary ingredients, a black candle, a bowl of blood, and a circle drawn in chalk. As the clock struck midnight, I lit the candle and began to chant the incantation. The words rolling off my tongue like a prayer to the darkness. At first, nothing happened. The room remained still and silent. The only sound the echo of my own voice in the empty space. The pounding of my heart in my chest echoed in the silent room. But then slowly, surely, I felt a presence begin to stir in the shadows. A presence that sent a chill down my spine. I watched in horror as the darkness coalesced into a swirling vortex, its depths pulsing with an otherworldly energy. And then, with a deafening roar, a figure emerged from the depths, a figure cloaked in shadow, its eyes burning with an unholy fire. It was a demon, summoned forth from the depths of hell by my own hand. Fear gripped me as I stared into its malevolent gaze, knowing that I had unleashed something beyond my control. But before I could react, the demon spoke, its voice a guttural growl that sent shivers down my spine. It asked me what it was that I wished for, for a moment, I was tempted to ask for wealth and power, to indulge in the desires of my darkest fantasies. But then, with a shudder of revulsion, I realized the true cost of my actions. I had sold my soul to the darkness, and now there was no turning back. With a trembling voice, I whispered my final wish, a wish for the demon to return to the depths from whence it came, to leave me to wrestle with the consequences of my actions. With a cruel smile, the demon obliged, disappearing into the shadows as quickly as it had appeared, leaving me alone in the darkness with nothing but my regrets. As I sat there, haunted by the memory of what I had done, I realized the true horror of the dark web. It was not a place for knowledge or power, but a trap from which there was no escape. Closing my laptop and shutting off the lights, I knew that I would never again venture into its depths for fear of what lurked in the darkness of the dark web. I've always been the type of person to do what I'm not supposed to do. So when I stumbled upon a link to the dark web, I couldn't resist the temptation to explore. The first thing I noticed was the overwhelming sense of unease that washed over me as I navigated the encrypted sites and hidden forums. It was like stepping into a digital twilight zone, a place where the rules of the real world no longer applied. As I went deeper into the dark web, stumbled upon a forum shrouded in secrecy, its threads filled with tales of horror and despair. It was here that I found a post that would change my life forever, a post titled The Red Room. Intrigued, I clicked on the thread and began to read. The post detailed a live stream known as The Red Room, where viewers could pay, filled the air quickly silenced by the gleaming blade of the assailant. 
my heart raced as I realized the gravity of what I was witnessing. Real-life violence unfolding before my eyes, with no way to intervene or stop it. Despite my horror, a morbid curiosity compelled me to continue watching. Unable to tear my eyes away from the screen, the scene unfolded with a sickening inevitability, each moment more horrifying than the last. I felt a wave of nausea wash over me as I grappled with the moral implications of my voyeurism. But the allure of the forbidden kept me glued to my seat. As the stream continued, I became increasingly aware of the darkness within myself. The part that was drawn to this depraved spectacle, despite knowing it was wrong, it was a chilling realization, one that filled me with a profound sense of shame and disgust. Finally, unable to bear the torment any longer, I forced myself to close the browser and shut off my computer. But the images lingered in my mind like a haunting specter. I knew that I could never unsee what I had witnessed, and that it would haunt me for the rest of my days. In that moment, I vowed never to return to the dark web, to leave behind the twisted allure of its forbidden fruits and seek redemption for my sins, for I had glimpsed into the abyss, and it had stared back at me with eyes as cold and empty as death itself. The scene played out before me, each moment etching itself into my mind with horrifying clarity. The screams echoed through the darkness as the assailant closed in for the kill, their intentions clear and merciless. Despite the terror gripping my heart, I couldn't tear my eyes away. Transfixed by the sick fascination of witnessing such unimaginable brutality, it was a scene that would haunt my nightmares for years to come. A grim reminder of the true horrors lurking within the dark web. In that harrowing moment, reality crashed down upon me like a tidal wave. This wasn't just a different type of place. It was a cesspool of pure horror, a digital abyss where humanity's darkest impulses ran rampant. The dark web, or at least the part I had stumbled into, was a far cry from the realm of anonymity and freedom I had imagined. It was a place where depravity reigned supreme boundaries of morality were shattered beyond recognition. Closing the browser and shutting off my computer offered no solace, for I knew that the darkness I had glimpsed would linger within me, a stain on my soul that could never be washed away. The experience served as a stark warning, a reminder to all who dare to venture into the depths of the dark web. Beware, for the nightmares that lurk within are all too real. So please, heed my words. Do not go on the dark web. The nightmare files it contains are not worth the risk to your sanity and soul. The allure of the forbidden may tempt you, drawing you deeper its shadowy depths, with promises of secrets and thrills beyond imagination. But know this, the price of curiosity on the dark web is steep, and the consequences can be dire. Once you peer into that abyss, there is no turning back. The horrors you witness may sear themselves into your consciousness, haunting your every waking moment plaguing your dreams. The darkness that lurks within the darkest corners of the internet is not something to be trifled with or taken lightly. It is a realm of predators and prey, where anonymity breeds cruelty and exploitation thrives unchecked. Behind every click lies the potential for danger, where you never know who may be watching, waiting prey upon the unsuspecting. 
So I implore you, my friend, resist the temptation to delve into the dark web. Seek your thrills and satisfy your curiosity in safer, more wholesome pursuits. Let not the allure of the forbidden lead you astray. For once you enter that realm, you may find yourself trapped in a nightmare from which there is no escape. Choose wisely, for the darkness of the web holds no mercy for those who dare to venture too far. Remember, curiosity can be a double-edged sword. While it may drive you to explore the unknown, it can also lead you down paths from which there is no return. The internet is vast and full of wonders, but it also harbors dangers beyond comprehension. Instead of seeking thrills in the dark corners of the web, channel your curiosity into more productive endeavors. Explore the wealth of knowledge and entertainment available on safer platforms. Engage with communities that foster positivity and growth rather than those that revel in darkness and despair. And if ever you feel the pull of temptation urging you towards the dark web, remember the cautionary tales of those who have ventured there before you. Their experiences serve as grim reminders of the perils that await those who dare to tread where they should not. In the end, it is up to you to choose your path. Will you heed the warnings and steer clear of the darkness? Or will you succumb to the allure of the forbidden? The choice is yours. But remember, once you enter the abyss, there may be no coming back. In closing, let us remember that while the internet offers boundless opportunities for exploration and discovery, it also presents dangers that should not be taken lightly. The dark web, with its hidden corners and forbidden secrets, is a realm best left unexplored. As we navigate the digital landscape, let us exercise caution and discretion, mindful of the risks that lurk beneath the surface. Let us choose curiosity over recklessness and seek knowledge in places that do not compromise our safety and well-being. May we all find our way to the light, steering clear of the shadows that beckon with false promises of excitement and intrigue. And may we never forget that in the endless expanse of cyberspace, it is our choices that ultimately define our journey. So let us choose wisely, and may our adventures lead us to places of wonder and fulfillment, rather than into the depths of darkness from which there may be no escape.